Hi everyone, welcome back to Life After Neverland. We promised you that we would come back and fill you in on what's happening in the Big Brother house and there's some good juice going on. When you last left us, we let you know that Tyler had a bit of a breakdown and went to Christmas and said, hey, put me up on the block. I want to save Devon and Bailey. Well, the new news is that <clears throat> that didn't happen. Didn't happen. Did not happen. And so Devon and Bailey are upset because that was not communicated to them. So they thought that Tyler was gonna go on the block, one of them was gonna go down, and nada, nothing happened. Not a good gameplay, guys. Not a good game. Tyler went to the diary room, and Big Brother told him that this is breaking the rules. And I'm gonna get on board with that. I don't think it was a good idea in the first place, and it looks bad for Tyler. It's not good gameplay, and it seems like he's breaking the rules. He's going a roundabout way to save his contract instead of just self-evicting. Tyler actually told Davon and Bailey that production said that he was not allowed to ask Christmas to use the veto in order to put him up on the block and that it was against the rules. The biggest problem is that the live feeds didn't show anything really of the conversation that happened between Tyler and Christmas. So no one will really know what was truly said. My issue with Devon and Bailey is that they haven't won any competitions yet, which is extremely frustrating because I want to see them win. Both of them have a very hard time keeping their mouth shut and their anger under control. And then the next part is that they can't seem to pick a side of the house that they want to truly commit to. So they come across in my last few episodes, I think I called them floaters, but that was the wrong word, flip-floppers. So now let me go a little bit farther and say, I don't know why Christmas put them up. They're not a threat. There are bigger fish to fry in this house, Nicole and Cody. You know, Christmas has a lot of confidence in herself. How about take that confidence and put the biggest players up on the block, Nicole and Cody. There is some speculation that the two of you are running this house. Okay, make a big move, but it sucks because Christmas is in like, I don't know how many alliances. There's so many alliances in this house and she's a part of at least a few of them. You guys, what's making me so frustrated is that Tyler throws in that he misses Angela in the conversations between Day and Bay and Tyler that can be shown on the live feeds. You guys, that's the real reason. It's an excuse and I don't like it. Everyone's putting the heat on Christmas, but I really think that the heat needs to be on Tyler. That's me, he misses Angela. And he's trying to act like he's noble, but Sean and I said in our last video that it's not noble to leave them in the game to fend for themselves when they have him as a vote and they have him as an, a person who is a strong player in this game who can fight for them. Do you see what I'm saying? And I do think Christmas is feisty. So you have a personality that is a feisty person. I don't think Devon and Bailey are strong enough to take Christmas out hello. She won and she has won a lot a lot thus far so she's putting heat on herself christmas is putting heat on herself and she'll get voted out soon but the problem is davon and bailey they need to start committing commit to someone and the bad part is is that the one person that they can literally commit to is tyler and tyler wants to leave this game tyler can be a solid force to work with them so that they can get some power because he is really good at this game. I'm disappointed in Tyler. I'm frustrated with Tyler. I'm mad at Tyler. My anger is going towards him. For me, I'm extremely pissed about the fact that Janelle and Kaser could still be in this game right now because they truly wanted to play and Tyler doesn't want to play. He wants to go home and be with his girlfriend. What I've gathered from watching the live feeds is that Christmas and Bailey had a conversation which led into an argument. Basically, Bailey is upset with Christmas because she came to her and confessed to her because she trusted her, you know, by telling her that her and Devon were basically ride or die. And Christmas used that against both of them. Bailey feels betrayed. I do feel like Bailey has every right to feel betrayed by that. She couldn't trust Christmas. And unfortunately, this is part of the game. This happens in the game. This happens in the game. It really, really does. The sad part is that Christmas isn't willing to see that Bailey just feels like she opened up to her and she trusted her and she feels betrayed. If Christmas could just admit, okay, I see where you feel betrayed and I'm so sorry, I just didn't feel like the two of us were in that alignment with each other and I felt like you were gonna come after me. Instead, she's kind of being like a guy, in my opinion, and no offense to guys, but guys kind of look at things as black and white. There's a gray area there. 
you know, she's thinking, you two are aligned. I'm not in an alliance with you guys. You guys are coming after me. And that is the unfortunate part of the game is that Davon and Bailey, they have not truly committed to either side. They do seem to flip flop and they haven't solidified their relationship with some of the people that are running this house. It is a barrier of communication and it is a barrier of trust, plain and simple. And Christmas doesn't have the capability to fully communicate with Bailey in the way that she needs to be communicated with. Christmas ended up getting in Bailey's face. She was clapping her hands, which if everyone knows Bailey, Bailey's not gonna be able to handle that. And I was proud of her because she went outside and she was trying to keep her cool. What do you think? In the meantime, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode tonight. We'll be back on Friday. Unless something else wild and crazy happens tomorrow, we'll come in and tune you in. But we will see you on Friday to talk about the eviction. In the meantime, God bless and have a wonderful rest of your day. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button, you guys. We would be tremendously grateful. And we'd love to chat with you. We want to know what you think. Ta-ta for now. See you guys on Friday.